Michelle Lyons, BBC Look North, York. Who'd have thought? Right, from TVs, still on recycling, here's a woman who's put a sewing machine to good use. For Julia Suarez McCormick, her lifelong hobby has been handcrafting authentic Elizabethan dresses. And she hopes a special skill will attract attention from filmmakers. Adele Robinson reports. <laughs> It looks like a scene from 500 years ago, when exquisite gowns were all the rage. But for Julia, the Tudor era is where her heart lies. For the past 30 years, she's been making medieval dresses, and it's all she can think about. I'd actually love to make costumes all the time. I just really, really enjoy it. It's just the thing I've always wanted to do. I love designing them. I love choosing the fabrics. I love choosing the jewels. I actually enjoy the whole procedure of making them, and I love wearing them because they make you feel so glamorous and so special and so different, and actually as if you're from another era. At the moment, she's building up a collection, and with half a dozen in the bag, she's already had a fashion shoot at Crook Hall in Durham. So what exactly inspired Julia's passion? 1969, when I was 11 years old, he's showing my age, and I went to see a film called Anne of the Thousand Days with Genevieve Bujol, a French-Canadian actress, and the gown she wore in that dress, it was actually a film with Richard Burton, and I saw the gowns and I thought, that is what I want to do, I want to make dresses exactly like that, and hopefully I've gone on and made a few since. This particular dress is a replica from the 80s film Lorraine Margot. It even has the gold-plated jewels sewn onto it. Now, it's Julia's obsession with making dresses like this one that she hopes will lead to something bigger, be it restoration work in museums, the theatre or even the big screen. I think it'd be absolutely amazing. I'd actually love to see my dresses in a production, in a major film even. It would just be so wonderful for me, yes. I'd love to see that. Each dress can take up to 200 hours of work and costs nearly £300 in materials alone. But for Julia, it's a labour of love and she's building up a wardrobe fit for a queen. Well, actually, I know Elizabeth I had 300 gowns. I um, don't know about 300, but I'd certainly like to make a lot more. Adele Robinson, BBC Look North. They look great, didn't they? And into uh, sport with a couple of suits we knocked up over the weekend. Uh, it was FA Cup weekend, five of our teams.